Now something that is generating great debate in medical circles, an experimental treatment for AIDS, an unproven treatment called hyperthermia. Today, for the second time this year, a patient here in Atlanta underwent that treatment. It happened at Atlanta Hospital, the same hospital that is in the process of having its license to operate taken away. Channel 5's Rush Jameson has details on today's experimental surgery. He is now resting in the intensive care unit and seems to be stable. He is 37 years old, from Chicago, diagnosed with AIDS four years ago. He is known only as Tony. And this morning he underwent a controversial new treatment called hyperthermia. The technique circulates blood out of the body and heats it to 108 degrees before returning it. Carl Crawford was the first patient four months ago. Nearly dead from an age-related cancer, he took a shot in the dark. I had nothing to lose. Now doctors say he is cancer-free and shows no signs of the AIDS virus. Just after today's operation, surgeons reported their latest patient is doing well. I am happy to report to you that as far as we can tell, all of the efforts in the operating room were successful. We did not have any complications. While admitting that these early results may raise hopes, even false hopes, both doctors, Alonzo and Logan, say that the use of this procedure should be accelerated, not only for better data, but also for ethical reasons. Cancer specialist Dr. Kenneth Alonzo says too little is known about this new treatment and its results, so they will repeat these procedures soon. I think ethically, uh, the, the demands made upon us as well as on other physicians is to, uh, to come down here, see what we're doing, take the protocol, and, and look at others who are HIV positive. Tony's family came with him, saying chemotherapy wasn't working. Their brother was dying. Um.